<laughs> well, and the other thing, would you talk about your pricing strategy for different size groups? Again, that's going to be up to you, and that is something you would work with with your bureau. Uh, there is, when you talk about a speaking fee, typically there is no pricing strategy for different size groups. I was $10,000 for a speaker. That did not mean that it was never discounted. I would, on occasion, get a call from a bureau. I've got a client, they want to have you, they've got a total budget of $7,500 plus expenses, would you be willing to take it? There was absolutely nothing wrong, and, and, and it was my choice. I could either say, yes, I'll do it for 75 or no, I will not. If the Bureau was asking, would I be willing to take a cut, and they were involved in that, that's considered complete etiquette because it's the Bureau that's asking you to reduce the price. Here, we haven't gotten to Bureaus yet, but you know, I, 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 one of the points that I would make, here's where you can get killed by a Bureau. The reason, the way Bureaus exist is very similar to the model that travel agents existed. Travel agents would get paid 10% by the airlines, but the price to you never changed. If you bought a ticket to Chicago and it was $300, it did not matter whether you went through a travel agent or not, it was still $300. You didn't get it for you know, $30 cheaper because you bought it yourself. And so the travel agent's whole pitch was, you should be going through a travel agent because we will make sure your itineraries, we'll notify you if there's a problem, we'll make sure it's done properly, and it doesn't cost you anything but they were collecting a 10% commission. And the same is true with advertising agencies. If you go to a newspaper and you want to buy a full page ad, they're going to charge you $10,000. You still pay 10,000. Our services are free. Now what they were getting was a commission from the newspapers. They would collect 15 to 20% for every, it's not costing you more to go through us. And that's the model that the bureaus have. Anthony Gailey is a $10,000 speaker. If you get him through us, he's $10,000. If you get him through another bureau, he's $10,000. If you call him on the phone, he's $10,000. And our clients aren't stupid. They'll say to themselves, I'll bet if I call him on the phone, I can get it for whatever, $7,500. So the phone might ring one day. Hi, I'm so-and-so. I'm considering having you for a conference. Great, y'all. And they never say that they had a talk with a bureau. And I want to know, you know, I know your fee's $10,000, but we've only got $7,500. Would you be willing to do it for $7,500? Always a temptation, isn't it? I mean, $7,500 in hand is better than $10,000. Very, very, very dangerous thing to do. Because if I say, sure, I'll do it for $7,500, guess what that client invariably does? Every single one of them does this. They call the bureau, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> and that bureau will never book you again. They call you, they are livid. Are you out of your mind? You're breaking the entire model. So, I mean, it's, it's a, but they can call me. There's, it's absolutely considered etiquette if that you go through the bureau and they say, would you, Anthony, be willing to do it for $7,500? Uh, do it through the bureau, you can discount the price. But if you do it on your own and you undercut a bureau, you completely undercut their entire reason for existence. You undercut their model. So I'll talk about this in detail a little bit later. There are pluses and minuses to working with bureaus. I do know speakers who avoid bureaus altogether because it's just too complicated for them. But if you're going to work with a bureau, there are some rules you need to follow. And uh, you know, there, there, if someone called me who I knew had no bureau connection whatsoever, I, uh, if, if that guy from AXA who I've known for 20 years called me and asked what I do it at a reduced fee because I'm booking you for 20 years, I would know that that guy has no connection to bureaus, that I have absolute freedom to negotiate any price I want because that business did not come to me in any way, shape, or form connected to a bureau. It's up to me then with what, if anything, I would like to negotiate with that client. But if a total stranger calls me and says, would you do it for 75? If I'm going to be booked by bureaus, I have to say, let me recommend you to Matt. I deal with a rep, talk to him. That way, no matter what happens, it's going through him, and that way you don't accidentally undercut a bureau because they, they, the clients will lie to you. The clients will say, no, I'm, some, some speakers say, I'll protect myself. I'll ask the client, have you by any chance called a bureau? No, no, you're the first one I called. Well, yeah, okay, I'll give it to you for 7500 and then you find out they had talked to a bureau. You, can't, you cannot assume the client is telling you the truth. I don't mean that in a nasty way. So if you're going to protect yourself, and you really, if you're going to work with bureaus, it's reputation and personal relationships. And if they find you're out there backstabbing them, or even if you're doing it accidentally, I mean, that's the whole reason for their existence. If you, the, the, the notion that it doesn't cost you anymore to go through us. He's a $10,000 speaker. You're going to have $10,000 from my bureau, $10,000 from somebody else's bureau, 
10,000 if you call him directly on the phone. You should be going through us because I'm going to make sure he's there on time. I'm going to make sure the paperwork's right. I'm going to make sure everything comes off perfectly. I'm going to make sure he takes the time to you know, do the program exactly for your, you know, what you're paying for is my service. And I'm doing, going to be great for you. But if they find out that you undercut that, you completely undercut the model. <coughs> We're getting off message. That's coming a little bit later. But that's, that's the kind of the culture. And if there's ever a question mark, if there was ever a question mark, I would simply call my favorite bureau rep, Matt, take it from here. <laughs>